Hello everybody, my name is Justin and I'm one of the nature interpreters at the Royal Botanical Gardens. Now spring is a very busy time for pretty much all of nature. Temperatures are changing, plants are growing, and especially for birds, this is the time that they're going to be migrating all over the place and it's the start of nesting season. Now if you're interested in trying to invite some of these birds to visit you wherever you live, you can definitely do that in a number of different ways. Now the big idea is that you're providing them with the things that they need. So one of those things is food. So if you were to set up a bird feeder, you definitely see uh, different birds coming to check out what food you have left out for them. Another way that you can invite birds to visit you that's probably not as common or not thought about as much is providing them shelter. Now you might not be able to build a bird's nest for the bird, but you can certainly provide them with the materials that they need. They're going to be looking for all kinds of sticks and twigs and leaves and little fluffy bits that they can use to kind of weave and uh, build a nest like this one. Now every bird is a little bit different and will make a different nest but this is kind of generally what they're looking for. So if you're interested in inviting those birds and providing a little bit of nesting material, there's a few different ways that you can do it. Probably the easiest way is to just leave it on the ground. If you have a nice spot where you can tuck away all of those dead leaves, the dead plant stems, all kinds of different stuff uh, in the corner of your garden, uh, in a little empty patch nearby, you can just leave that material there for the birds to come and grab as they like. Another way is to create a nesting materials bag. Now this is a super easy way to reuse something that you might already have lying around. And I'm talking about these mesh produce bags. So if you happen to have one of these mesh bags lying around, you are pretty much set to provide birds with the materials that they are looking for. So if you have one of these bags, the next step is simply collecting materials. They're looking for small twigs and leaves, dead plant material that they can bend easily and shape to make their nests. Now if you're able to find some plant fluff, like from milkweed, they'll even use that to kind of cushion things and make it nice and comfortable. So once you find that material, you can kind of just go ahead and stuff it inside of that mesh bag of yours. Now you're going to want to try and uh, fill it up kind of as much as you can, right? Now I've already collected a whole bunch of this material so it's pretty easy for me. Now when you are making these bags as well, you want to keep in mind that you are putting in materials that are natural, that these birds would be able to find out in the wild. So we're not putting in pieces of plastic, strips of string and clothing. And you also don't want to be putting in kind of human hair or pet hair. Some of those items have been found to actually get tangled up around the birds and can actually hurt the birds instead of helping them. So once your bag is kind of full with a good amount of stuff, you're pretty much set to go. Now if you have a larger bag than mine, you might want to tie off the top of the bag or use a little bit of string to secure it. And as you can see here, there's a few different things that are kind of sticking out of the bag, which is perfect for the birds that are coming. They can see it, grab it, and pull it out of the bag as they please. So once your bag is all set like this, all you need to do is go and hang it up where birds can get to. So that's in a tree, on a fence post, on a railing, wherever a bird could go and have a seat, browse what you're providing them, and uh, pick and choose whatever they'd like. So there you have it, a nice easy way to provide birds with some nesting material and invite them to pay you a visit. Now if you're hanging up a bag like that one, you want to make sure that you're checking on it every now and then to either refill it with some more stuff or take it down so that we don't have a plastic bag blowing around our neighborhoods. Now feel free to share what your bag looks like uh, and how things go. Feel free to share that in the comments as well as any questions that you might have. 
If you're looking for some more fun activities, be sure to check out rbg.ca slash at home. And until next time, happy nesting.